Hello world, Shelly here and it's time for another episode of Foundation Fest and today I'm going to check out one that is one of my OG original very first favorites ever but since that time it's been I think reformulated and they've come out with more shades. It is one of the K-Beauty like cult favorites, the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. I have this in shade 21, though I can wear it in shade 13 in the winter, which is the lightest shade. They have added shades on the deep end of the spectrum. There's a total of seven shades now, though the undertones are very flexible on these, I find, because at least in the lower, fairer end of the range, I would say that the shade range now goes toward like a medium deep, the darkest skin tones are still not going to find a match, but bravo Misha, thank you for more inclusivity. Would love to see even more inclusivity. The This comes in seven different shades. It retails for $24 for 1.7 ounces, 50 milliliters of product. So that is like just over $14 an ounce, which is drugstore pricing. And let's check out what they have to say about this. The It is a, Sunscreen as well, PA 3 plus SPF 42. Combine skincare and makeup in one easy step for flawless skin with the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. It is a cream that offers medium to high coverage, all while keeping makeup light and providing UV protection with lasting moisture. It brightens, evens, soothes, covers discoloration and imperfections of the skin, recommended for all skin types. It is cruelty-free, phthalate-free, SPF, 3-in-1 BB cream. So let's take a look at shade 21, swatched against a few others in my collection. Swatch time. First up is today's foundation from Misha, the Perfect Cover BB Cream in 21. What? You can't see it? It's invisible because it's a perfect match? Yeah, that's how good this one is. Second is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place in 1C1 Cool Bone. Third up is MAC Studio Sculpt in NW15. And last, I've got the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator in Fair. I've already cleansed, moisturized, and sunscreened this 48-year-old face. I have primed with my handmade Bakuchiol face cream. It will be restocked in my shop shortly. It is hard to get Bakuchiol when you're just a little guy and you're only ordering little, like, eight ounces at a time. Like, if I could order a whole palette full, I'd have no problem. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, can't do that. So, uh, let's caffeinate real quick. Mm. I've been getting no sleep. Daffy had to go to the vet. She has a kidney infection. And her temperature was 105, which is really, really dangerously high for cats. Oh, uh, it's been a mess, but she's feeling a little better. A couple days of antibiotics are in her now. Ooh, these cats are going to be the death of me and my wallet. <laughs> if you don't see me buying any foundation for a while, you know why. <laughs> I don't, let's not think about it. Let's check out the consistency here and get the cat hair off my little uh, butterfly. Probably pumped out too much, but here we go. Now I know they call this a BB cream, but this is some of the best coverage of anything. It's so good. I'm totally messing up my routine here. I'll go in on one side of my face with a damp sponge. Other side, I've got my BK Beauty 101. I already know I love this stuff because not only have I already loved it, but I've used the reformulated. This is actually my second tube of the reformulated one. I just, you know, never got around to refilming it you know when I love them and I know I love them and I originally loved them and there's nothing new to say I usually don't bother to refilm but this one it's one of those that is the best skin tone match for me I love it so much if you were on the CYO 101 bandwagon that gorgeous gray undertone I know it sounds strange to be like yeah, I love a gray undertone. I do. Like, I don't know what it is. I have foundation in my hair. I don't know what it is about a gray undertone, but it's perfect. And uh, this is just like that. It's the same undertone. Now, applied with a sponge, you get some nice light coverage. Look at that. Look at that shade. It's perfection. It's like literally perfect. Why can't every brand have a shade like this? The only brands I usually find it are the either K-Beauty brands or like Yensa has, which 
are they K-Beauty? I think they are. Or they're inspired by K-Beauty. Now, now I don't remember. I'm not going to look it up right at this moment. Uh, there's the sponge side. Even with light coverage, we're getting color correction. The shade is mwah, chef's kiss. Let's try the brush side. Now, this does have a bit of scent to it. It smells... Ah, just fresh, I guess I would describe it as. I wish there was no fragrance in skincare, really, in makeup, facial makeup, but it dissipates quickly. It does not stick around, and it smells nice. I mean, it's not that I don't like nice-smelling things. It's just that I don't want my skin to get sensitized to fragrance ingredients. And the more you use them, the more possible that becomes. And some people will never get sensitized to it, and bravo, you're lucky. Maybe I'm a lucky one, I don't know. But once you're sensitized to it, you kind of can't go back. Like, it's that whole toothpaste in the tube. Once it's out, you can't really put it back in. So uh, look at that coverage. I love this shade so much. <laughs> For a while, when I had enough room on my arm to swatch five shades when I do my foundation reviews, this was one of the shades I always swatched because it's the perfect perfect match for me. 13 would be in the dead of winter, the lightest shade. This one works for me most of the rest of the year. But I don't have any room on my arm anymore because I covered it up with tattoos. So now I swatch in my hand, but I can only fit four swatches on there. So this is the swatch that I left off because it's so uncommon to find this undertone anywhere. So the only reason it was valuable is because it's my perfect match. <laughs> But since most things don't have a perfect match, oh, I love it so much. I like the brush application better with this one. I think it's just a, look at the nice dewy finish, perfect medium coverage in one pass. Even my blue blood vessels barely visible. I am going to use some of what I got left to even out the coverage on this side. And, you know, I'll just tap that blue blood vessel, get him covered up. Why did I gender my blue blood vessel? I don't know. It feels like a guy. Gosh, I love this foundation. You know, I don't have to even give a grade because you know, I already love this stuff. I am gonna take it up under my eyes. I don't think I used enough to call it concealer. So let's get some up here because these under eyes are barking. I uh, have not been sleeping, thanks Dave. Oh, send some good vibes for Daffy. She's the, she's my tripod. She's the one you don't see very often because she can't jump up behind me or anything because the leg that she's missing, it's her left hind leg. I totally missed my nostrils. So we're going back in here to make sure we got the nostrils. So she can't really jump up. So you don't see her in my videos very often. She's my orange polydactyl tripod. Even my nose looks great. Not gonna last. Allergy season's still kicking. So uh, I'm gonna be blowing my nose and ruining my foundation. Oh, I love this stuff. Look at this coverage. Oh my goodness. Let me zoom you guys in. Seriously? I mean, it just doesn't get easier than this. It does not. It just doesn't. I totally missed a spot on my forehead. <laughs> Let's fix that. So generally speaking, this stuff is nicely blurring. It is nicely smoothing. It doesn't cake up. It doesn't move around. It's it's good coverage. I mean, with a sponge, you can shear it out and go light with it, but I like a nice medium coverage. You could even build it up higher if you wanted to go closer to full coverage. It's got a hydrating feeling to it. It's just a wonderful, wonderful BB cream. It is one of the few that I can wear when my skin is flaky. I can wear it when my skin is just not happy with me because it's really tolerant. Like it's very hydrating in the way that will not accentuate lines and flakes and peeling skin and it's, it's my go-to when I need to get away with uh, some, some issues on the face. Uh, don't scratch my chair, Ziva. Please stop that. It's Ziva's new thing. It's scratching my chair. It's bad. Nope. Get down. If you're going to scratch, you can't stay up here. That's, that's, how we, that's how we roll here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me go put the rest of my face on. It is 1130. Can you see that? I don't know where my, my phone is. Oh, it's right here. 1130. I'm going to go put the rest of my face on. I will be right back. 
back with the Misha. I just realized I didn't put any earrings on today. Gonna need to rectify that. She gorge, she gorge, the Misha and the me. <laughs> so, on the rest of my face. Not really any surprises. Ah, Natasha Tenona, I need a nude palette. Just gonna say that, you know, last week, week before, when I did the video on the Alter Ego Sakura palette, which is a dupe of the ND Retro Glam palette, and we all were begging in the comments like, hey, 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 can you dupe this out? I can't make you any promises, and they didn't promise me anything, but they did say, we heard your request. <laughs> so maybe, maybe, maybe keep on telling them. Keep email alter ego. Tell them we want a dupe. We want the nude, need a nude palette. So that's what's on my eyes. I'm also wearing the new Color Street Triflex Mascara, which is amazing. It my lashes actually catch in my eyebrows sometimes. Cray. Very cray, very cray. What else is on my face? Oh, you know, I want to have a little chit chat. Where'd it go? Here we go. I would like some recommendations for a bronzer, please. Not too warm toned, nothing orangey, nothing golden. I prefer a red undertone to my bronzers. This one, Flower Beauty, has been my OG favorite for probably a couple of years now. I've been wearing this almost exclusively. Like, I love this bronzer. And I usually don't bring non-makeup things into my discussions here. And I hope by the time you see this, Drew has changed her mind. I love Drew Barrymore. Uh, but she's bringing her talk show back into filming production without her Writers Guild union writers. And uh, I grew up in a blue collar household. Both of my parents, blue collar, my mom, postal union for 20 plus years. And uh, if it weren't for the unions and Family Medical Leave Act, those are two things that had a huge impact on my life. When my dad got cancer, my mom had to become the sole breadwinner for the family and his full-time caretaker for the last two plus years of his life when he was going through treatments and chemo and radiation and a bone marrow transplant and all of that. And we'd have lost everything if she wasn't able to make, to keep her job through all of that. And uh, she worked really hard and there were people that didn't want her there because she was a hassle because she had to take my dad to appointments and things like that. And uh, yeah, so I, it's not cool, Drew, it is not cool. Crossing picket lines, not cool. Scabbing, not cool. Uh, so I, I'm gonna set this one down for a minute and I uh, hope that she changes her mind, but I'm, I, I like to vote with my wallet. And that is something, I'm, I don't necessarily bring this up so that you do the same things I do as far as who I support or what I don't support. But what I do want to encourage you to do is vote with your wallet, whatever you believe. Like if you're totally into Drew going back and filming and you think that's right, then go buy some backups. If you don't, then don't buy any more. You know what I'm saying? Like, vote with your wallet. And vote for real, too. But, like, I feel like sometimes money talks. And that can be a powerful motivator for change. So, anyway, vote with your wallets. Whatever you believe. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to find another bronzer. So, if you guys have any bronzer suggestions. A few of you last week were commenting that I should try the Merit bronzer which I will do because, oh, I'm so sad. I went to go buy more colors of the Solo Shadow for Merit and uh, all the ones I wanted were sold out already. <laughs> ah! But some of you suggested the Merit bronzer, so I will pick that up. What other suggestions do you have? Looking for the red undertone bronzer for a fair skin tone, please and thank you. Let me know in the comments what I should try because it's hard to find bronzers that I like, y'all. I got a whole drawer right here of high-end bronzers that I never use because they're all orange on me. Okay, what else we got going on? I'm wearing Lawless lipstick, the shade, uh, I think it is Sherlock to the rescue, soft truffle, 
And I have a little bit of the gloss, Lawless Gloss in Rosy Outlook, I think the name is. Yes. On top of that, my blush is the Lawless Juicy Watermelon. I would like some blush recommendations too, only because I'm so stuck on this. I need someone to like jog my mind and make me try something else. I do have a lot of blushes that I love though. I should just shop my stash. What fun is that? That's not as fun as buying new ones, but <laughs> I am a grand deep in vet bills right now and I gotta take her back in a couple weeks. Whew. Like I said, we're not talking about that. All right, we're not gonna think about that. I think that's everything. I'm gonna go about my day, going to work, first I'm stopping to get a sandwich, then I'm going to work. Kind of a gloomy day today. Uh, it's pretty It's pretty dark out. I'll get you a daylight check-in, hopefully before my night class, because sometimes I forget. And then I'll come back tonight, give you guys my final thoughts. You already know what they are. <laughs> hey guys, just got out of class. It is just after six, and uh, Here's the shade match. It is brilliant. <laughs> That's my favorite thing ever. Why is my hair falling down? Here's the close up. Best shade of life, seriously. Yeah, and look, I might beat that cloud. It's starting to drizzle. So I'm gonna try and get to my car real quick, even though it's like a quarter mile away. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to my car. I'll check back in a bit. I'll see you tonight. Nine fifteen p.m. Let's take a look at how the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream held up. So we are what at about the ten hour mark. What are we? Fifteen minutes shy of ten hours. Let's zoom in and get a look at this one. This is how it holds up. It's very reliable on me. I even still have some coverage on my chin and my nose, which is practically a miracle. And yes, I did blow my nose today, believe it or not, and I still have some coverage. I'm missing a little bit on the nostrils, but you know, that's what happens when you have to blow your nose. Pollen. Ugh. So, little tiny bit of wear on my chin, maybe a smidge of product starting to break down there. Blush and bronzer still look like I just applied them. Like I said, still a little bit of coverage on my nose. Nothing is caking up, nothing moved around. It actually still looks nice under my eyes. I've lost a little bit of coverage there, but for the most part, it did not move around. It did not settle into lines. It did not dry anything out. It still feels moisturized. Like, this one's just really good. <laughs> Now, I do wish they had more shades. I'm glad that they have more than they did back in the day because I want to say when I first got this, it was one of those that only, I want to say it only had three shades to start and then they had five shades and now they've got seven. So keep on going. I would love to see more. That would be fantastic. Hello, Vizewa. How are you doing today? Are you going to scratch my chair? Don't, don't scratch my chair. You'd be good. You can stay. What do you think? You like it? She's purring. You know, as as cats do. <laughs> so if I had to give a grade once again to the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream, it totally gets an A from me. It's reliable, I love the coverage, I love the finish, it's hydrating, I can wear it year round, winter or summertime, it is not drying to my skin. I just love it. And it is good for, I did not apply it with fingertips today, but I will use this for like the run and gun out the door fingertip application, get everything on there super fast. Like it works for that too. So it's versatile, it's beautiful. I mean, that that's really what I'm looking for. There you have it. Another episode of Foundation Fest is in the books. If you like foundation reviews, if you had fun with this one, give me a thumbs up down below. Comments, please. What would you like me to check out? I buy more foundations every time I can, even when Daffy costs me a zillion dollars at the vet. And I keep a running list, and I shop every... Well, I try to get them on sale. I will say that. Sometimes I'd wait and try to find them on sale, but now I'm really going to be waiting to find them on sale. But actually, Sephora's on their way. I think I've got two concealers coming in tomorrow, one of which is the Lady Gaga one. The other is a Sephora Collection concealer. 
I'm trying to remember what else because I feel like I ordered something else. Oh, it's not foundation. I ordered that hourglass. Oh my god, it's so expensive. The custom palette where you pick the animal on the cover. I got the owl one. It has taken forever to ship. It finally shipped today and it's not supposed to be here for another five days. So it's going to be a while before you guys see it, but I had to get it. The palette looks like the cover, like, man, if they put beautiful animal artwork on every palette, I would just buy everything. What can I say? As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.